E-Hawk. For those with the Hawk Cypher bargain. The E-Hawk is in many ways a quite basic Android phone. It's affordable on a pay-as-you-go deal, and doesn't add much to the price of a cheap contract. You wouldn't guess it's so cheap from a quick feel though, as a glass back makes the E-Hawk seem a more expensive phone than it is. It's a slicker looker than the Moto G5. It also has a 4G Plus modem, letting it theoretically make use of mobile data speeds of up to 300 Mbps on these network. However, low screen resolution and slow uploads ensure its build-in appearance are the strongest elements. E-Hawk price and availability. £149.99 on pay as you go. Only on E. The E-Hawk costs £149.99 on pay as you go, subject to a £10 top-up that gets you 1GB of data and 250 minutes, lasting 30 days. It's also available for free on contracts of £12.99 a month and higher. That bargain basement contract offers 300 megabytes of data and 300 minutes of calls, so isn't for high-end users. A quick reminder, at the time of writing you'll pay £99.99 .99 on top of £47.99 .99 a month for a 1GB of data deal for an iPhone 8 for me. If you're a data guzzler, the £18.99 Seahawk plan offers 2GB of data and a generous 1000 minutes. Key Features CAD 6 LTE, up to 300 Mbps Glass Back at the core CPU. The E-Hawk does a great job of impressing with its surface features. Most obvious of the lot, it has a glass back and front, and has the dense feel of a more expensive phone. Its back also glints in the sun, thanks to a layered finish. The E-Hawk is no Honor 9 in terms of eye-catching design, but it's not plain either. There are also modern touches like a rear fingerprint scanner and a USB-C charge socket. However, the real aim of the E-Hawk other than looking good is to provide solid entry-level specs at a good price. Smart Gorilla Glass Design Slim and pocketable Looks similar to an iPhone 8 The E-Hawk looks a lot like a black iPhone 8 without a Touch ID pad from the front. Its curves have that table flavor and thanks to the 5-inch screen the phone is a manageable size. A glass back separates the Hawk from the budget competition which tend to, at best, use some aluminium. The back and front are tough Gorilla Glass, the sides very solid plastic you could easily mistake for aluminium if you don't look too closely. Those sides don't have the cool feel of metal, of course. Screen. Not the sharpest, but looks good after weeks.